I think that there are some fascinating people all over the world discovering who they are and how they belong. Different shapes, sizes, colors, and genders are all beautiful. I think the human body is the best art out there. Not being biased, I feel that female body is especially beautiful inside and out. Inside being everything the female body can do on its own. I know that's a scientific topic. The female body is resilient and most take that for granted. For years, women have been lusted over and have faced inequality for decades. Women are so much more than just a lusted image. However, women are not the only gender who has had to deal with inequality. The LGBTQ community, black communities, and other cultures have had their fair share of inequality. All cultures are valuable and should be accepted in our society. Some artwork I chose Constructing Female Identity, like here shown, Cindy Sherman, an American photographer. She focused some of her known photography on stereotypes of women and the fakeness of a role playing, throwing male viewers off, perhaps giving them something more to think about once looked at. From the audience expecting one thing to expecting something else. This is one of her artworks. And here's another. American artist and film filmmaker Andy Warhol. He was well known for paint his paintings of enlarged comic strips. Pop art is what he is most known for and is still popular today. He was a very well known, talented man with expanded ideas when coming to art. Warhol launched the process of photographic image, such as the Campbell Soup's Cants. One iconic image is Marilyn Monroe. The image is everything you see. Someone who lived life colorful, without fear, loved hard. She knew to work the spotlight with such grace as you see in the paintings. What a thrill to know such an artist as herself. Challenging Gender Identity with Man Ray, Marcel Duchap, and Rose Celebe. This is a portrait of Marseille Duchap and his female alter ego. The 1920s, a drag was a fashionable scene. This capture captured my interest because some people seem to think that drag has not been around when in fact it was. It is a person's way of life and who he, we want to be or who they want to be. I thought this was a brilliant artwork that he did portraying himself as though maybe it was a scene back then probably frowned upon. He became an artist in the gay community in the 1950s. There is so much art in drag from the hair, makeup, outfits, attitude, and performance. It is entertainment, but also a human being's way for living who should be accepted in our society with no hate. 